Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to create various sketch tools in PTC Creo Parametric 3. So let's get started. I know this is pretty much late, but it's never too late to learn something. So go to sketch and select a plane and sketch. And make sure to hide all the datums and you see that this clutter tool palette is all filled. So let's get started. Let's start with line so line start click on the first end and click on the second end you can move it anywhere you want and click here and escape and for dimensions double click on the dimensions and give the value and double click on its dimension and you can see that these are now solid dimensions so this is line next is circle so basically there are four types of circle so first is center and point select center and drag it outside and escape so this filled portion shows that it is a closed entity you can hide it from here this shows the shaded closed loop portion so hide it and now for changing the diameter you can give the value here let's say 280 and 350 you see before changing the dimension the color is this sky blue after changing this is dark blue this means they are no longer the reference dimensions they are the permanent or solid dimensions this is weak dimension so 200 so this is how you create a circle and next is cocentric circle so click on the circle that we have created earlier and you see the cocentric circles are created next is three point circle so first point click on first point second point and third point the dimensions are given same this is the weak dimension so double click give 280 this is a weak dimension too so give its dimension 450 so this is how you give the dimensions this is 1200 now next is three tangent for that we have to create three different lines so what i'm gonna do is select the three tangent first second and third so you see that this circle is created so these are the four type of circle that are given in the parameter or the sketch tool i'm going to delete this whole portion and i'm going to sketch two circles to show the next command next is the line that is the line tangent you select this circle and this circle and you see a tangent line is created between the two circles now delete this line next is rectangle basically there are four types of rectangle so let's start with corner rectangle first is you click first point and drag it to second point and these are the relations which shows that it is vertical and this H is no shows that it is horizontal dimensions double click 1200 and let's say 1500 so now these are the strong dimension and no longer the weak dimensions next type of rectangle is slanted rectangle you click one two and drag it to this side 
so this is the slanted rectangle third is the center rectangle you click on center and drag it to outside to create the center rectangle similarly go to parallelogram you select first point second point and drag it upward so this is the rectangle command i'm going to delete this now line rectangle and circle are completed so let's move toward the arc first is three point or tangent end click first point second point and the third point you can change the radius of the arc as it depends upon the user next is center and end so first point second point and third point so first you need to define a center and then its end next is three tangent arc let's move toward first conic first point second point and this is conic so this point 50 is the radial distance that is rho you can change it by 0 point like this next is the concentric arc so just like the circles you can create the concentric arc here similarly select this arc and starting from here to here you can create a multiple arc with the use of single arc just like the case of a circle and next is the three tangent for three tangent arc we need to create three lines now go to three tangent arc and select first second and third just like the tangent circle and tangent arc is created so i'm going to delete all this and now the line rectangle circle and arc command are over let's move towards ellipse so first type is end to end point ellipse you define the first point starting point and the end point and drag it outside now for dimension you can change the dimension here double click let's say and this is let's say 7000 so next is center and axis ellipse select one point and the edges are moved toward outside and then you create the circle sorry ellipse and dimensions you can change by double click so this is how you create the two types of ellipse next we move towards this spline you click first point second point third fourth fifth it can move anywhere and depend upon the intentions of user now these are known as the points you can move this spline by these points basically these splines are of two types this spline by poles and this spline by point this spline by poles are easy to control now in order to change this point to poles you click left click on this spline and right click and go to modify and then you can see that you can change this point to poles as you see the poles are easy to control as compared to the points in this spline and hit okay so you see a spline is created with poles next a point you can randomly create anywhere point as it will create different points and escape you see different points are created and different dimensions are being given
now coordinate system a coordinate system can be created anywhere just like a point but the dimensions are same you provide the dimension as same as that of a point next is palette palette are predefined profiles or polygons or shapes that are given to you to use them so double click on the palette that you want to use and click here left click here and for scale size you can scale it from here or you can enter value here at an angle or the scale value and hit let's say the value is 45 so it will turn around 45 and the scale value is 411.2 and hit ok and close this now there are more options here so go to rectangle and go to fillet there are basically four types of fillet so let's go to first circular trim you select this line and this line and you see that a fillet is created whose center is shown here and is tangent to both the edges similarly you go to circular trim where no center is created you see there is no center of this arc while in case of the circular trim you see that this point is the center of this and this edge double click and you change the dimension value similarly next is elliptical trim so you click on this edge and this edge and you see the elliptical fillet is created with horizontal distances different than the vertical distance similarly go to elliptical trim select one edge and second edge and you see the vertical and the horizontal values are different and the center is shown here center point ellipse is created here so i'm gonna delete this whole section to show you guys more commands so i'm gonna choose a rectangle and the next command here is chamfer basically there are two type of chamfer chamfer with the intersection this is the chamfer as shown here with the intersection at this corner similarly there is second type of chamfer that is chamfer trim which doesn't have the corner you see there is no corner while in that case this corner is shown so as you escape you can define the dimensions here now for text you need to create a vertical or horizontal line let's create a line from bottom to top this will show your height of the text and you can write anywhere let's say workal 23 so you see workal 23 is created and you can choose your own font i have chosen the default one that is provided here so i'm gonna delete this you see the workal 23 you can change this height by double click on it you see the height is changed and workal 23 is created and similarly now i create a rectangle and next i move to offset it asks for a loop since one offset it ask for a distance let's say 10 so you see a uh, offset is created here let's move to single you see let's change this value to 10 to 100 and now you'll see the considerable change here 100 similarly you can change all the values here let's say 100 and you see 
that an offset is created in the inner direction for outer direction just put the value in negative and then there is the center line just like a line this is created the center line and this is the construction mode in construction mode you can create a circle and it is shown here now you double click on it and 2000 so the circle is created in construction part now i'm gonna delete this and okay next is i have to create just make sure that you out of the construction mode i have created this now go to thicken and select the thickness let's say 200 and arrow let's say 200 in that direction and you see that it will create just like the offset so my main motive here to you guys to show the project command so I have created this and exit it will show that now ok something is missing so basically the project is used to not to create the sketches in second time if I have created a rectangle and extruded up to a certain length and then if I use to project the edges then in the second time I don't need to create the rectangle of those same dimension I just go and create the project so it will project the edges of that rectangle so i hope you like this tutorial and for more epic tutorials subscribe to my channel workal 23 and i'll see you next time till then